Hi everyone, welcome back to Skywatch Weekly. We've got a lot to cover this week. We have a very special anniversary for the Adler Planetarium to talk about. We've also got some beautiful summertime stars to look at, a little bit of internet debunking to take care of, but first, I want to spotlight a very cool interaction we saw on social media using our Skywatch Weekly videos. This is from Instagram user Modern Teacher Mom. And here we have some really neat home classroom projects to do, watching the Skywatch Weekly videos and then making these cool constellation cards. So you can do this for yourself at home. Of course, you have access to the videos yourself. And then I love these beautiful uh, colored star stickers making these constellations, like Orion, Cassiopeia. I see the big and little dippers as well. Very cool stuff. We love it when people are inspired by the night sky, not only to look up, but also to get out there and create for themselves. Well, let's check this out as well. Looking in the night sky tonight, we've got some summertime stars beginning to make an appearance. We're going to begin looking in the southeast, and we're going to be getting a pretty flat horizon view here. So you're going to see our foreground coming into view. We're going to be paying attention here to stars that are up maybe a little bit later on tonight. We're looking here at about 10 p.m., a couple hours after sunset. But later on in the summer, they'll be getting higher and higher up. So we begin with a star here called Antares. Beautiful reddish, orangish looking star here. It's part of the constellation of Scorpius, the scorpion. The name Antares means the rival of Mars. And we're going to see Mars a little bit later on in the video. And it's really the, the color, kind of that rusty, orangish, reddish color of Scorpius, uh, excuse me, of Antares and Mars that make it similar. And also the brightness as well. When Mars is nice and close, it rivals Antares very closely uh, in brightness. So Antares tonight, low in the southeast, right around 10 p.m., but definitely visible. If you're looking in just a month, right before the summer solstice, this will be up already at sunset. So as we get later on into the summer, uh, no issue waiting for these to be visible. Let's look towards the northeast. Want to call it a star here that we had actually mentioned already last week, a star called Deneb. That's in the constellation of Cygnus, the swan. Now, we'd mentioned it in relation to this circumpolar sky, Deneb pretty close to that circumpolar circle in Chicago. So it just barely sets here in the city. From other places further north, it stays above the horizon. Well, here it's part of a well-known asterism, a nice pattern of stars called the Summer Triangle. And another one of the bright stars in that pattern is visible tonight. That's the star Vega, or Vega. That's going to be a little bit higher up in the northeast here. So these two mark two of the vertices of that Summer Triangle. The third one, marked by a star called Altair, not up quite yet. But later on in the summer, these really begin uh, to make quite an appearance. If you're out in, say, mid-August, looking for the Perseid meteor shower on a nice warm August night, uh, you'll be looking directly overhead at this summer triangle at that point. Well, the star Deneb is part of the constellation of Cygnus, the swan. It marks the tail of that swan. And the star Vega, part of the constellation of Lyra the harp. So give a look for those pretty low in the sky at this time of the night, right around 10 p.m., but getting higher and higher throughout the night and up earlier and earlier every night as we head on into the later part of May and into June. Like me, over the past few weeks, you may have seen some posts on social media about a smiley-faced moon that's supposed to be making an appearance on the morning of May 16th. The posts include a picture like this of what is supposedly Jupiter and Venus right by a crescent moon. Now, as watchers of Skywatch Weekly, this might have smelled a little suspicious to you since we know Venus is still right now in the evening sky after sunset and Jupiter's up much later in the night with Saturn and Mars. Well, this originated with a YouTube video of an actual beautiful conjunction of Venus and the Moon taken from the Philippines 10 years ago, May 16th of 2010. Well, it's coming back around this year for May 16th of 2020. What someone did is copied the image of Venus there to give the smiley face two eyes, and the rest is well, unfortunately, not real. The sentiment is nice. The sky is smiling down on us, especially during trying times. But I'll tell you what, for me, there's plenty in the sky that'll make me smile, even if the sky isn't literally smiling back at me. 
So while I'm going to give this a big nope as far as being factual, I do want to dig into the sky and see what it will actually look like on that morning of the 16th. So let's fast forward to tomorrow morning, coming up in the morning of May 14th, and check it out. You aren't going to see a smiley face, but you will be able to see some planets. Here's Jupiter and Saturn. We talked about these in an earlier video, and also Mars, joined by the moon, a beautiful third quarter moon. So in a week from now, it's going to be new. A week ago, as you might recall, it was just about full. Well, this doesn't look anything like a smiley face, but that's okay. Still a lot of really cool things to look for. The closest we might have been to that smiley faced feature would have been back. Here's the morning of the 12th. So here we have Saturn and Jupiter with the moon nearby. On the actual morning of the 16th, the moon much lower in the sky, much more towards a crescent phase there. But take a look at this. You're seeing three planets and the moon all at once. Notice they're all in sort of a straight line there. That's no coincidence. That's the plane of our solar system. So my weekly challenge for you this week is get up, set your alarm 4.30 a.m., find a south facing window and check this out. You got a great chance there to see three planets and the moon. And after that, you look out the window, you see them, go back to bed for a couple hours and uh, get some rest. I will say as well, if you do want to check out something else that's kind of cool, we talked before about the star Antares, meaning the rival of Mars. Well, check it out. We've got Mars and Antares in the sky together. Now you got to be up at a, an odd hour at this point to see it. But look at that. Both of them there, both a sort of a dusky reddish, orangish color. Um, Antares and Mars, sort of opposite sides of the sky right now, but well worth a look. Well, here at the Adler, we're celebrating a very exciting milestone anniversary. 90 years ago this week, Adler opened its doors to the public for the very first time. Now, over the decades, we've witnessed the dawn of human spaceflight, we've launched experiments into space, and we've helped millions of people connect with the universe. But I would say the one thing that's made these last 90 years truly special is our community. People like you watching this video and joining us on a journey to the cosmos. In celebration of our community and the past 90 years, we've launched the Adler Universe. This interactive photo mosaic represents where we've been and also where we're going. It's made up of photos from people like you. We've also launched a new podcast called Stories from the Universe, a series of short audio interviews that highlight some of the people who've made the Adler community so special through the years. So definitely give that a listen. So thank you for being part of our history. Links for both the mosaic and the podcast can be found in the video description. So that's what we have for this week. We hope you enjoyed it. Let us know what you thought. Definitely don't forget to subscribe and look up with us every Wednesday. Follow us on social media, and we'll see you again soon. Thanks so much.